Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead in the kitchen, preserving uh, all the green beans I have been picking over the past few days. I've washed them and chopped them up. I haven't filmed me doing it because I think everyone knows how to wash beans up and chop them. They're about an inch. Now I've got two varieties of break beans. So these are more like your runner bean type. But the green beans. But I'm keeping them separate. So I'll bring you around here now to where I'm doing it. Right, as you can see here, I've got a pot of boiling water. It's been up for a couple of minutes, so I'm putting it back on for so I get a rolling boil and when I do get a rolling boil then I'm going to put this type first in and give them about two minutes because we want it to uh, be boiling because as soon as the beans go in it'll lower the temperature You could steam these, but I can't be bothered to get the steam it out. It's far easier. And I've been doing this for years anyway. Right, rolling boil. Whoops, looting beans. One, two, three. Four good size, four and a bit handfuls to fill that up. And now put the lid back on and bring it up to to boil again. Because obviously it had um, the beans had delivered the temperature. Meantime, put a bowl of cold, cold water in your sink and then get ready with your colander as well. Right, you may be able to see through the lid, if not, that's now come back to a full rolling boil. So I'll time it for two minutes and keep it at a nice simmer and that will blanch them ready for us to freeze them those are the green beans that have been blanching for two minutes and I'm just going to dump them into all this cold water now if you want you can add ice to it I never have done I think cold water is more than sufficient and have to put some more and we'll leave them there for a minute while I sort out the next load that's going in the pan. Make sure you bring your water back up to a boil and then repeat what we've just done. Now if the second load is in, it's just coming back up to a boil. These are all nice and cool now. So, oh, heavy bowl. That's it. Now what? Take it off. To try and dry them off a bit and what I normally do is I leave them there draining while the second batch is doing and then I'll put them on a tea towel to dry they're now boiling so 
shaking up as much oops, as I can do. And put them on your tea towel to help them dry up a bit. And spread them around. What I tend to do is just fold them up a bit, fold the ends over and then you've got the majority of thickness at the bottom because you flip it over so the water can soak in to wherever thing you're actually so you can soak in the tea towel and I'll finish these off now these other variety of beans, because I've cut them, they're a bit on the thicker side, I'm going to give these three minutes instead of the two that I gave the others.